Hey guys, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel. You may have seen our recent video in which we selected our squad for this year's Cricket World Cup in England. Well, we've done the same thing again, but this time we've selected our Australian squad for the upcoming 2019 Ashes series in England. It's been an arduous test summer for the Australian cricket team, having been handed a bit of a lesson in our recent series loss to India. The subsequent series against Sri Lanka has allowed us to experiment with new options in the side, exposing new talent on the international stage. Thankfully, a few of these talents have been able to perform and thrust their name into Ash's contention. In this video, we've selected a squad of 18 players and we will present our starting 11, followed by 7 reserves players. At the top of the order, we've selected the pairing of David Warner and Marcus Harris. Assuming Cricket Australia has no qualms about reselecting the alienated Warner, his selection speaks for itself. His batting partner was a less obvious choice though, and we've decided to reward the promising form of Marcus Harris. Provided he can put away the wide slashing cut shots until later in his innings, Harris demonstrated enough in a tough debut test series to suggest he is worth persisting with. At first drop, we have Queensland run machine Joe Burns. Burns has been one of the most prolific run scorers in this year's Sheffield Shield season to date and capped off his excellent summer with a huge 180 against Sri Lanka in the second test in Canberra. At number 4, Steve Smith comes straight back into the side and is an obvious selection. The emerging Travis Head is then selected at number 5. Head's India series was littered with starts that he was unable to build on, but he was rewarded for his efforts with a huge score of 161 against Sri Lanka in Canberra. His big Sri Lanka series is what ultimately won him his spot over Usman Khawaja. At number 6 we have selected a debutant, all-rounder Marcus Stoinis. Stoinis was preferred over the likes of Labashain and Maxwell for the all-rounder spot due to the need for a fourth seam option. Stoinis averages 42 with the bat and 25 with the ball in this year's Sheffield Shield competition. Skipper and wicketkeeper Tim Payne's spot is safe. Payne's performance as skipper of the test side has been quite acceptable in trying circumstances and with an average in the mid-30s, he has often been able to steady in Australian innings on the brink of collapse. Yet again, Pat Cummins picks himself at number 8. Cummins has proven this summer that he's on the brink of being world class, and a test average of 22 with the ball and 20 with the bat speaks to that improvement. Spin King Nathan Lyon also picks himself at number 9, not that he has genuine competition for his spot anyway. Josh Hazelwood returns to the side at number 10, while Western Australian seamer Jai Richardson bolts into our starting 11 following his incredible breakout summer. So that's our starting 11, and now it's time for our 7 reserve players for the tour. The first reserve batsman is Usman Khawaja, who is certainly good enough to play test cricket for Australia, but falls out of the 11 due to others around him performing better this summer. Emerging talent Curtis Patterson is the other reserve batsman, following an incredible breakout summer this season. Across four consecutive first-class matches, Patterson was dismissed just once by Sri Lanka in 622 deliveries. Matthew Wade is selected as our reserve wicketkeeper. To this point, Wade is the Sheffield Shield leading run scorer this season with 571 runs at an average of 63. He arguably deserves a spot as a specialist batsman, but for us, he kills two birds with one stone as the backup keeper. Manus Labashain reprises his role in the Australian Test squad. As I mentioned before, we wanted the fifth bowling option to be a seamer, and Labashain's batting on its own probably doesn't stack up well enough for him to make the side. We've also picked Glenn Maxwell. We've partially doubled up on spin bowling all rounders because we aren't going to pick a specialist spin bowling backup to Nathan Lyon, but Maxwell doesn't get enough credit for his first class record. His averages of 41 with the bat and 45 with the ball warrant more opportunity at the highest level than he has been given. His recent signing with Lancashire to play county cricket also demonstrates how serious he is about playing test cricket again. Perhaps boldly, we haven't selected Mitch Stark in our starting 11, but he's in the squad as a first reserve bowler. Stark's endured a disappointing summer with the ball, being by far the least productive of Australia's pace bowlers. With the emergence of young talent Jai Richardson, Stark slips out of our starting 11. Our second reserve pace bowler is another uncapped player, Chris Tremaine. Tremaine's record over the last four Sheffield Shield seasons is unmatched by any other pace bowler, taking 157 wickets at an average of 20.96. Like a few others in the Australian cricket circuit, his form at this level has warranted more opportunity than he has been afforded. 
So there you have it, our 18 man squad for this year's Ashes Tour of England. Like in our last video, I invite you to comment your opinion below on how right or how wrong we've got it, as well as some predictions for this Ashes series. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Cheers.